Well, good morning to you. Yeah, it's Friday already. Do you remember how terrible Monday was? And now we're at Friday. Uh, it's done and bands last night, marvellous night. Um, not many bikes there though. <laughs> not surprised, the weather was atrocious. But um, uh, weather today, well, it's a bit grey and overcast. Forecast to rain all day, but I don't think it will. Um, anyway, on with today's mutter here. Um, I'll, I'll start with uh, photos, and I'm going to start with my mate Sai. Yeah, he sent us a, a picture of his uh, meteor, Daisy. Yeah, yellow Daisy, and uh, perched upon Daisy is his grandson, Harry. Yeah, same name as my hoss. My hoss is called Harry. That's marvellous, isn't it? Yeah, there's quite a lot of those meteors about. Um, also, TB sent us a picture of something I've never seen before. Um, God, that wind's a bit sharp. Just close my visor a bit. Um, anyway, TB sent us this picture of uh, is it, uh, Audrey uh, Spider. Yeah, it was a big bike show where they have like 30,000 bikes and he sent us a picture of a 504. Marvellous. Um, so this is his 504. Yeah, and do you remember I said the other day I'd show you a picture of my 504. Well, the photo I, I've got, it's a black and white one. My brother developed it. Um, and it was halfway through me doing it up. I ended up, uh, this is it, here you go. Yeah, marvellous. Um, Anyway, I changed the shocks, uh, did a few other things, got rid of the rack of course, and my dad painted it in Honda Britain colours. It looks splendiferous um, when I'd finished with it, but I didn't keep it very long. I had an electrical problem. Lights used to just turn off in the middle of the night for no damn reason as you're belting along down a country lane in Yorkshire. You don't want that, no. Um, but, um, what TB says, he says there were about 30,000 bikes there, he said, uh, and he included all the photos that he had of the Royal Enfields that were there, and he didn't include any photos. So I guess what he's saying is, there were 30,000 bikes there, and no Royal Enfields. Well, I, that's, uh, I just keep coming, why don't you? Um, so, yeah. So no Royal Enfields there, don't know whereabouts he is, what, but what place he is, it's probably all Harleys and stuff. Um, but yeah, um, then what I want, uh, uh, I, I, I got some pictures from a channel called, oh look at the smoke coming out of that van, I can smell it. That's not going to go very far I don't think. Oh it stinks. Um, yeah, uh, a channel called Two Wheel Vintage, and I can't believe it. He's only got like, I seem to remember, 150 subscribers or something. But this guy lives in America. He's got so many classic bikes um, of all, so all sorts of things. Um, and he sent us a picture um, of uh, uh, his 68 Triumph TR6. Ah, yeah, marvellous bike. Uh, he's got a 1970s um, Yamaha XS1. Yeah, marvellous. Uh, these are all mint condition. He uses them all the time. If you if you look at his uh, channel, um, and what uh, the one he's got going at the moment, I've just seen part two. He's on his way to a covered bridge. I know covered bridges. Never heard of them before. All of a sudden, they're everywhere. Anyway, um, that's his latest one, but he did one the other week, uh, a different bike every day. Yeah, a different bike every day to work. But that was splendiferous. <coughs> um, I can't remember what was... <coughs> uh, what else did he send us? Um, there was a oh, Honda CB350. Marvellous, one of my favourites that he has. I mean, these bikes are mint, mint condition, you've got to see them. Um, so have a look at his channel, 
uh, he also sent us a picture of his um, more modern bikes is uh, T120 yeah uh, a 2020 T120 that's marvellous um, but I think he's got a bit of a soft spot for the uh, XS1 yeah marvellous um, so have a look at his channel uh, yeah I just I couldn't list all the bikes he's got um, but he's got a few yeah um, anyway <coughs> excuse me while I just cough RW um, uh, sent us a picture of his Tiger all loaded up yeah look at that that's marvellous and uh, if you look in the background there's a bison yeah it's not it's not a bison it's a beaver <laughs> not a bison a beaver that was it I'm getting mixed up um, I, which will all become clear yeah um, anyway yeah no the tiger it was a beaver he was he was worried about them fighting that was it yeah he was he was worried about the tiger and the beaver fighting but he said the tiger can now run a beaver um, get away from those big fangs yeah that was it what a dump I can't, re can't believe we got that mixed up um, I'm trying to remember where the the, the bison was now um, uh, oh what um, oh uh, EB EB sent us um, a picture he says he says he's been a Harley man since 1966 but he's just bought uh, a Triumph uh, a 2012 Triumph look at this it's like a, a bobber but he's uh, stuff he's done to it he's got those um, cocktail shaker exhausts on um, and uh, he's got uh, he's got that screen on and the seat a Corbin seat um, it looks uh, splendiferous doesn't it yeah is it a bobber or is it is it is it just a Bonneville that's been uh, chopped or something I don't know I don't know anyway uh, Derek uh, Solo Motor UK I'll put a link to his channel as well because um, photos he sent are of his scram with all the little extras he's put on he's got some micro um, pannier rails yeah he's got some micro pan pannier rails a uh, Lextech exhaust and a heat shield he's put on there because he burnt himself on the exhaust yeah um, hope he's feeling better he's had a run of bad luck as Derek um, uh, but I'll, I'll let you watch his channel find out what's happened there it, um, uh, his poor daughter uh, uh, got attacked by a dog and he's injured as you know he fell off a few times the other week um, but he's out and about I still think but there you go anyway yeah Derek's in these pictures of this this scrap yeah there you go um, and I think Oh, what was that it? I'm trying to think where the bison came in. I can't remember. <laughs> oh, it just shows my memory's going. It's Friday though. It's allowed to go by Friday. Look at this dog coming up here. A very, very proud dog. Look at that tail. Look at it. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, did you see him? He was looking. He wanted to go on Bertie. <laughs> Marvellous. Absolutely splendiferous. Um, so... Then we're on to uh, General Mutter, I guess. Um, been watching some videos, as I mentioned, uh, Solar Motor UK. Yeah, been wa watching those. And one, um, it's a few days old now, Classic Rides, went camping, solo camping. A marvellous video. I mean, I now know he is a professional photographer, so his photos and his camera work is uh, splendiferous. It goes without saying. But his videos, the way he puts them together, is just marvellous. Yeah. Um, ER. Yeah. Economical rides. 
Um, he uh, got a video out. It's a shocking video, to be honest. Yeah, <laughs> all about shock absorbers. Yeah, uh, he got two people to test two different types of shocks. The first one did make no never mind. Um, and the second one, I think they were off Classic 500 or something. So it's like a piggyback exhaust uh, uh, shock absorber. And the guy who did that reckoned he got like 20 to 30 percent better um, uh, uh, handling from it. Yeah, so uh, it's interesting, isn't it? I like to keep things just standard a lot of the time. You know, that's why I think if the manufacturer build a bike. Um, it's got to be right they shouldn't be building it so you can change parts i know royal enfield um but that's down down to a price that's leaving you money to do it but i do like things standard and they're pr normally pretty good for everyday riding if you're not going on the track or you're not going serious off-roading you know a lot of them are fine unless you drive like a loony um, so that's that um, uh, obviously Uncle Stu's had a couple of videos and do you know what I've got to be honest Uncle Stu in my life I've never once given any thought whatsoever to um, what happens to my watch when I ride I haven't and do you know what I've never had a watch go wrong and I asked a few people last night at Stunham and they all said the same they've never never thought about it and nothing detrimental has ever happened to their watches um, and in fact Mrs Tame uh, she has a Rolex and it, it never happened Giraffe have you ever have, have you ever uh, uh, had your watch go wrong when you're riding a bike <laughs> he says don't be ridiculous he says, and just get on, you're late for work. Get on and uh, get that mutter out about the BSA. <sighs> of course, he's right, as usual. Um, I need to get on, and I need to get on about my mutter about the BSA. Well, you saw me walking round at uh, Cop Dock, round the BSA there at Colchester Kawasaki. It's quite difficult because there are a couple of people there attending not guarding, I said guarding just to be controversial they were attending around them um, because there were lots of people interested in them milling around them obviously they didn't want anyone nicking bits off them or uh, yeah, thanks very much madam um, but generally it was very difficult to get a proper look at them and I didn't want to sit on it because it didn't tell me anything just sitting on it I suppose I could have felt the weight of it um, what I would say is that the two bikes were quite different to each other. Um, obviously they're both uh, the same bike but just differently put together I think. Um, uh, the quality of one was much better than the other. And I know they're pre-production bikes but having said all that and I'm not going to bother going on about the, the how rough round the bottom of the tank was or some of the the, the uh, gasket joins and things or the radiator all that lot the general impression looking at them is they look pretty splendiferous yes next to the original which i'd also saw a couple of they're not the same but they're a pretty decent looking bike so with that in mind i couldn't do the video because they had music playing loud which as i say uh, in my video um, prevents you from doing anything uh, on YouTube with it other than what you're doing Jesus um, which is quite annoying um, and so um, it was quite difficult so we with that in mind I decided what I would do is uh, write to them because in their last email they said yeah you can come and uh, video and we'll clear a space and you can look around 
for the Myrtle Gazette in the Benelli. So I emailed them and I said, I don't need to do that anymore. Sorry it's been so long to get back, but I've been really busy, etc. Which is perfectly true. Um, and I said, could I come and uh, video the BSA? I also said it'd be handy if there was somebody there who I could just ask some uh, simple questions to. Yeah. Um, so I've sent that email and hopefully they'll come back to me. What do you think? It'd be magic, wouldn't it, if they came back to me and said, yeah, come along, sit on it, do a video around it, we'll answer some questions for you. You know, only simple questions like price, delivery and stuff like that. But it would be nice to have some uh, someone actually say it rather than just all the rumours. Because I, I, I like the bike. I wish it the best of luck. Um, but there's so much negative stuff out there. I just want to tidy up. Anyway, have a great weekend and I'll see you later.